so hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel our channel no welcome back to my youtube That's channel true. uh my name is zippy for those who are new welcome and so guys i decided to invite my hubby again on this video recently we did a video on how we met i'm gonna attach it right here so you guys can have a look and we really didn't go into details on how we met i thought we did yeah I but anyway people clearly want more details there is. I received some few questions and by that I mean questions I received on my Instagram so oh, yeah. again if you're not following me on Instagram it's gonna be right here you can check me out and uh, also on that YouTube channel's comment section there is one or two questions that I received and we're gonna be addressing them on this video and also apart from the questions we'll be going through some if you're dating online some of things mm. to look out for and also um, how you progress from online dating into a healthy relationship in reality not just online so you guys i hope you enjoy this part this video for today i will let my husband say hi 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 <coughs> hi yes it's okay hello <laughs> So yeah, uh, first of all, do we want to say where we met? We met... We've, we've, we've been said, through this, yeah. We met with Bumble, the app on the phone. Yeah. So Bumble, I think I'll just put that video up here, guys. You can have a look. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So the first question I received is, uh, did you guys have to pay to use the app? Yeah. That's... I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's a free app. I think you do... If you want, uh, if I remember. Maybe there's a premium and you pay for that. But as far as I can remember, it's a few years ago. Now it's five years ago. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's a free download. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But if you want to go premium, as you say, that I don't know what's the advantage I don't of know premium. Either. Yeah, I, I don't have a clue what the premium's about. But then from memory is a premium. But mm -hmm. what advantage that has, I don't know. But... Personally, we didn't pay. I didn't pay. He no. didn't pay. So no, we didn't. You guys can decide to pay or not pay, but I've answered that question. So the next one was how long? I'm just reading on my little bit. Oh, it's a bit rusty, but I've had okay. it for a long time, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna do yeah, this. Yeah, this video has been a long time coming. Yeah, but we've been anyway. talking about it for some time. Yeah, but we're here, guys. And how long were you on the site before you two matched and make a move? Hmm. I think I <clears throat> had only been on two, well, maybe three or four weeks. I don't think I'd been on Bumble very long, but I had been, I'd been on plenty of fish. Yeah. Um, yeah. And had no luck with that. Mm -hmm. um, just got absolutely, I got nothing. I got crickets. I got, yeah. You got crickets. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just, it was so silent. You could hear the crickets in the background. Does that yeah. mean that the ladies there were not responding or? Yeah, they, they just, I got absolutely nothing. I got not a sausage. Um, uh, yeah, I more or less got ignored on um, Plenty of Fish. So. Wow. The ladies there must be. I th You know, I think mm -hmm. it's just, it's one of the more popular sites mm -hmm. and it's free. Mm -hmm. So girls just get bombarded. Oh, Yeah, right. that's what I think. Yeah. And I, so I just, well, this is no good. No, no point. If you hardly get any conversation, yeah, let alone a date, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's kind of yeah, it does yeah, it quickly shows that it's not of value, it's not helpful. So fair enough, yeah. Um, I think yeah, I think that's that was my that was my conclusion at the end of maybe a couple of months on um, plenty, of plenty of fish. fish. That I not to say that plenty of fish won't work for you, but hey, if you're a lady. Go for it, because there's tons and tons of guys, apparently. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, actually, yeah, that, that makes sense, because I think I got off of Plenty of Fish after a conversation with a friend mm -hmm. who had a girlfriend or a female friend that was on Plenty of Fish and just showed him her inbox, and it was just, oh. it was 50, 60 messages for the day. Wow. Um, and I don't think she was even really a very attractive girl. I think she was sort of average, you know, so, you know. She's not like a top model or something. I yeah, she was not a glamour. Mm -hmm. And she was getting 50, 60 messages a day. Mm -hmm. um, just more than she could cope with. More than she could really process. Mm. More than she was willing to commit to as well. Mm -hmm. 
So, you know, she just, you know, especially guys just saying hi. Yeah, like when you... Oh, <laughs> it's that's just, a... Yeah, it's not, it's not overly... Uh, it's, it's not it's, a good look. It's, it's not a good opener. Yeah, like you, you'll find some people just hi. Hi. At least say uh, hi with yeah. something else. Say hi. Say something. Yeah. What, you know, just follow your hi with something else to start a good conversation or just yeah. small talks like that. Yeah. But, but um, yeah, so th three to four weeks, I think, on Bumble is my, um, is my answer. I think I was one or two weeks. To at most two weeks. That's how. That's how it, how long it took for me to match with Timo, and Bumble. Of course, it's the ladies who make the first move. Mm. So I matched the things that I saw on his um, description. Do I call it a description? Because you have you have to to write. <clears throat> yeah. A small little story about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I read that, and I of course his looks, and then. I decided to just, you know, was it swiping left or right? Whichever, yeah. The, and, um, if it's left or right, yeah. Swipe, yeah. yes. And then yeah. he uh, he matched me as well. Mm. And then we said hi and yeah, the rest is history. But that does answer the question. We were on there for not more than a month for the both of us. Correct? Not more yeah, than not, a month. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yep. And of course, I said, who made a fast move? I made the fast move because that's the kind of app that we were on. The ladies make the fast move, which is swiping, right? And then you wait for the guy to say hello. Or the ladies say hello first. Yeah, the lady has to speak first, yeah. And I hope so I just... once you match, mm -hmm. once you um, confirmed a match, mm -hmm. you've got 24 hours, I'm pretty sure off the top of my head from mm -hmm. memory, mm -hmm. you've got 24 hours for the lady to contact the man. Oh. Okay. Or the match disappears. Okay, so I contacted yeah. you within 24 hours of you matching me first. You must have. And I hope I just, Yeah. <laughs> and I hope I just didn't say hi and left it at that. Um, I don't think it was very... I don't think... You didn't give me a, a, a long paragraph. It wasn't long-winded. Yeah. But it was, it, was, some, it was more than hi. It was good enough but, to start yeah. a conversation. So, <clears throat> yeah. Ladies out there, you know, have self-confidence. Mm-hmm. I guess. So the next question is after we matched online, after how long did we meet face to face? Mm. So I think, do you remember exactly? I, how I, that? I don't remember exactly. Mm. I remember it was around two weeks. Yes. Purely because I don't think I would have wasted much more time. You know what I mean? Just talking, talking, talking. Mm hmm. Um, I'd say the amount of times I got catfished, mm -hmm. um, I probably would have given you a week of chat every day or every second day mm -hmm. to figure out what you're about. And mm -hmm. then after a week of chatting, mm -hmm. I would want to start organizing a date. Yeah. Um, and if you weren't organizing a date at that stage, mm -hmm. you know, after say 10 days, if you weren't willing to, okay, let's pencil in. Tuesday, Thursday, whatever, next week or something. Yeah. I'd say, yeah, you're wasting my time and probably move on to another person, you know? Yeah. Because um, there was just so many time wasters. They're just, I think, uh, I th think um, a lot of girls just would like the attention or mm -hmm. would like the, you know, uh, uh, this guy, they, they matched with him, so they obviously think he's attractive. Mm -hmm. They want his attention. They want his... Um, you know, affirmations or whatever, mm -hmm. um, but then they just won't go on a date. They'll just keep postponing or keep, oh, no, something's come up. Yeah. And then in the end, you just go, mm, nah, you're wasting my time, really sorry. Um, and it happened to me a few times where they just, I don't know, I guess they're trying to build trust and trying to work up the courage to go on a date, mm. but they just cancel, 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 and then you just, sorry, yeah, goodbye. Yeah. So that's also another thing. If you're really, really into somebody yeah. online... And they, just, and they seem nice and they seem, uh, you know, genuine. They seem like what you're looking for. Just don't waste so much time enjoying the, yeah. um, the talking stage before you meet online. It's yeah. best if you just, you know, give it a try. Of course, putting some things into place. Yeah. Like um, you just don't want to meet this guy or girl in their house for the first time. <laughs> Choose yeah. a public place. Public place during the day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, 
or in say if it's evening for a dinner, yeah. um, a well lit area, um, yeah, well lit, lots of people. Yeah, yeah. Apart from meeting in a public place, um, also maybe let a friend or two know where you are. Yeah. For safety reasons, yeah. you know, there's so many things happening in this world of today that we're living in. So you just want to let one person or two people know what, where you're going and mm. have, you know, speed dial or something. Just, yeah. Yeah. Even for the fellas too, you know, um, yeah. there's, we've all heard the story of the guy who went on a date with a beautiful girl mm -hmm. and then she drugged him and he woke up in an ice bath and his kidneys are gone. Whoa. Do you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> It's crazy, and it's probably not a true story, but oh, okay. you know, because um, kidneys on the black market are a hundred thousand dollars or something like that. So yes. you wake up in an ice bath, and your kidneys have been surgically removed. It's like, um, okay, that's a hard one. So <laughs> yeah, even for so, the guys, yeah, even for the guys, let's not be, you know, yeah. be, be intentional here. You know, mm. no one is really safe. You know, yeah. you have to put some precautions in place. Wait, don't don't be governed by fear. Yeah. Don't be governed by fear. Be be governed by, you know, good things, not just don't live your life terrified, but yeah. be generally cautious, you know, you know. Yes, true. Yeah. Yeah, so for like our story, we met at a shopping centre where Cafe you know on the ground floor at Knox. Yeah, yeah. Knox, if anyone knows it's Knox. A, yeah, there. it's a it's a public place, it's well yeah. lit. We met yeah. at ten in the morning, yeah. so what, what chance... tons of people there yeah. you know the the cafe culture in in melbourne there's always tons of people by was it a sunday so the saturday saturday yeah so saturday, by 10 saturday. in the morning there's it's hustle and bustle by that time of day on, yeah. that, on that day of the week yeah yeah and then of course i'd let one person know where i was going beforehand yeah. like of course uh, i had told a friend oh this is guy i've matched on and we seem to be vibing so i'll be yeah. meeting him on, i'll be meeting him on saturday so i had a friend who knew what was happening and i was going to meet him and yeah so yeah. we're not just preaching we're walking the talk we walked the talk <laughs> That's, we're, yeah. yeah we walked the walk darling we walked the walk we talked the talk uh-huh and walk the walk. Whatever. Anyway. Still rhyming. Yeah. Anyway. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So next question is, I'll just be reading out. How did you decide to see each other again after the first date? Uh, so we had our first date. I think it was a pretty normal, pretty natural sort of a thing. Yeah. We enjoyed each other's company. Um, we, and, had a, we had a nice first date. Yeah. And by enjoying each other's company, I think from this video up here, we did spend, uh, I think was it eight hours? No, I think it was ten. Ten hours. Because you, you, we fin the movie finished mm -hmm. at, I think, I think you left and I walked back in and checked the time and it was five minutes after nine. Did you watch a movie on our first yeah. day? Yeah. Because remember my housemates were in the next room mm -hmm. they had because remember it was two be uh, lounge rooms mm -hmm. they were in the back lounge room and we were in the front lounge room that was our first date so yeah. guys yeah i know we say don't go to the guy's house on the first date so let me just say how i ended yeah, up okay. at <laughs> his house <laughs> let's let's clarify this <laughs> how we ended up at his house watching a movie so we met at 10 in the morning yeah. um at a cafe we had coffee and then we went uh doing activities the whole day i won't give details of yeah. that because we did up on this video yeah. of how our 10 day 10 hours day looked like yeah so at the end of the day um tim was like oh you can come and meet my friend i live with my friend you yeah can come and, and, and his fiance and his fiance yeah. and we can have lunch to get dinner yeah because i was gonna I, I had food prepared that i'd marinated um chicken, chicken and, and yeah so he's and, like yeah I was, I was gonna cook the barbecue anyway so i said why don't you come and meet my friends and meet, meet my housemate and his fiance and so on and so forth so. yeah and it's the first date so i'm not just yeah. going to meet him yeah. by himself in his house yeah so we're gonna be a group yeah. And so that was part of a very multiple, it was very, very multi-part uh, first date, our first yeah, date. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, uh, so we 
had coffee in the morning. Yep. Then we had, then we did, we went and did something. Then we had lunch. Yep. Then after lunch, we went to the, the lookout. Yep. Um, then after the lookout. We had afternoons here. Yep. And, and then, then we didn't want to you were, separate. Yeah, so Zippy was about to go home and I said, oh, hey, why don't you, if you're going to go home, what are you going to have for dinner? I said, well, I'm about to cook a barbecue. Um, my housemate and his uh, fiance will be there and why don't you come and meet them? So, so on and so forth. We went, after dinner, we watched a movie. My housemate wanted to watch a different movie. So they went into the into a different lounge room because the house is a big house. Um, and so, yeah, uh, from there, no, I was, as I said, it was five minutes after nine when Zippy went home, started the date at 10 a.m. So it was a big date. It was, yeah. it was a big first date. Yeah. And being that we, uh, enjoyed, our, we enjoyed ourselves. We enjoyed each other's company so much that it was the next day, sorry, the next date, um, it was just a natural, normal sort of. Um, flow nothing was forced yeah, and we felt yeah. like we knew each other before okay see you again soon yeah yeah see you again later in the week or something like that you know it was just obvious that we were going to spend time together yeah yeah all right following up that part of the story with another question like at what point did we exchange our numbers so at the end of our first date we still didn't exchange each yeah. other's we didn't exchange numbers i don't yeah. know why we still went... Yeah, that is kind of strange that we yeah. didn't get change, change numbers then. But anyway, think, whatever. Because we knew for sure, for sure, we were going to see each other. So we were not... I wasn't rushing to... Yeah, I don't think... To get your number because I knew you would, you know, still yeah. contact wasn't me. wasn't about to disappear. Yeah. yeah. So how we got each other's number, we went, I think, when we still communicated on Bumble. Yeah, for on the app for the second day. Yeah. And I knew where he lived. He didn't know where I lived. The app did tell me him. how far away she lived, though, so yes. I could maybe, you know... I was five I minutes away. Maybe from... track her down. <laughs> if I, I'm joking. Yeah, I was five minutes from him. But yeah. uh, so as we progressed online, like on still on Bumble, that's yeah. where we... As we were planning our next date, mm. that's when we exchanged numbers mm. on, on the app. Yeah. Yeah, so that answers two questions in one. So the next one is, how do you know that someone is who they seem to be? Or how do you know that the person you're talking to is who they claim to be mm. on, the, on, the, app, on yeah. the app upon meeting them? Does that make sense? Mm. Yeah. I would say trust your gut. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, if, if something doesn't seem right, yeah. then... Yeah. Yeah. If something doesn't seem Very right, true. then don't. Yeah. Then uh, have the guts to bring it up. Yeah. Um, and if the person's caught out and they make, you know, make excuses or they just or they just concoct another story and yeah. then you catch them out on that, I mean, mm. it it'll come out in the wash. You know. Yeah. yeah. It'll all it'll all just figure itself out. I mean, people. Uh, if these are the reasons why people are not dating. Mm -hmm. That's a silly reason not to date, you know. Like if you, How human? If people are, oh, I don't want to date because... Um, oh, they're not, you know, they might if, not be if doing that's, anything. Yeah, mm. because oh, I'll only meet fake people. It's all, well, you're not going to meet anyone if you don't go on a date, if you yeah. don't get on um, get on Put and just try. Yeah, there. if you don't get on and actually try and meet people. Yeah. So if Whether I, it be online or not, it doesn't matter. But, you know, you, if you don't, um, if you're not open to dating, you're not going to meet people. It's pretty simple, yeah. You have to meet a lot of frogs before you meet your prince charm yeah okay yeah which is true so if i speak <laughs> yeah there are plenty of frogs yeah anyway and catfish too and catfish too you it's, catfish. it's a jungle out there <laughs> <laughs> and i'm so happy to be out of the jungle for yeah. sure yeah, goodness yeah. me <laughs> yeah so yeah. how did i know that timo is who he claimed to be yeah if i speak on my behalf yeah, go ahead. Again, on that story up here, he gave me his license on the first day. Oh, okay, right. And I didn't ask for it. He's like, because I seemed, I think I seemed so nervous or whatever. He's just wanting mm. to make me comfortable. And he's like, here's my license. I can, you can hold on to it. You know, you don't remember that part. That's what you say. Is that at the inspection? No, 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 no. That's on our coffee date. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. You, he's like, 
here you know my license is here i'm not a serial killer or whatever <laughs> you know I, he didn't put it like that. i don't remember saying that but, but yeah okay i didn't say that that's you didn't good. say yeah. that but I, was gonna also, say, I don't remember saying that yeah you're showing me yeah. your license and saying you yeah. can hold on to it is like showing me like i'm not hiding anything yeah. i'm not a criminal well, I wasn't, here's and my I'm license not. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so again the small things that happen on your first date so like like yeah. let's say if you meet somebody and they say they have blue yellow eyes and they have totally opposite yeah you know if the like, photos on their profile don't match that's a problem that's a you problem know. you address it there and then yeah you know and, and then yeah um brave communication yeah. yeah just yeah if someone um oversteps a boundary say it if they um if they try kissing you on the first date and that's not what you're into yeah, you, if, you know yeah, just, if that's a red flag for you yeah but yeah. there's people out there who are open because you yeah. you want to know, you know, you want to know how it is. You don't want to find out later when you've wasted so much time mm. if kissing is so important to you. So just, yeah. you know, yeah. your negotiables are non-negotiables yeah. in your in your list or whatever <clears throat> you have. So yeah. just go decide as you go, I guess. And as he said, follow your guts. If something seems yeah. off. Yeah, if something and, seems off, say something about it. Yeah. I mean, calmly, don't don't lose your mind. Yeah. But um, When did you know to stop looking and be exclusive? And also, like, how did you end up or when did you delete your app? Okay. Bumble. To me, I don't think I ever... Um, I, yeah, I never dated two, two girls at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when... When did I become exclusive? Mm -hmm. I think I was just born that way. No, no, no. Like, when did you decide? Like, yeah, you but that, that's the first me. part of the question is when did you become exclusive, isn't it? When did you know to stop looking? Oh, okay. When did yeah. you know to stop looking? Yeah. Okay. Well, my answer to that is um, that if I was dating a girl, mm -hmm. I, was, uh, I was not looking. Mm -hmm. I was, you know... I was dating this girl. Mm -hmm. Even if it's one date, I wasn't looking at other girls. All oh, right. So yeah. when the moment you know, we went on date, that for you yeah. was like, I'll first focus on this one. Yeah. Okay, that's Yeah, that's so, and that's purely because I'm giving this a uh, legitimate go. I'm giving it a legitimate shot. Okay. That's just my way of doing things. I, I don't ever... Uh, go on dates. I'm not going dates. on, you know, eight dates a week or something like that. Um, that's, that's, that's something, that's but, really... but that, I mean, how do you... Not so many men are like that, if you ask me. These... Yeah, probably not, but I just don't understand how you can, I don't know, say you were, you dated a person for two weeks or three weeks or three months, mm -hmm. and you were dating other people all the time, you go, ah, oh, it didn't work out with that one. So, like, well, of course it didn't work out. You didn't give it your, you didn't give it a sole focus. So what if... So, like, let's say if I didn't want to meet you on the second date, then you move right. on to the next one. Um, like, if... I suppose, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it's like a, a dedication to one person at a time. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably it's probably um, something that uh, people don't do anymore. But it's, whatever. Yeah, um, it's your personality. That's what that is. You... It's part of my personality. Yeah. Yeah. Another question, like, why you? Of course, you are talking to different girls on the app but yeah. you met one and then you stopped talking to the others um i was i was rarely talking to more than one girl at the same time anyway oh. so i didn't i really didn't get much mm. um that that sounds bad but um i don't know what i know what i was putting forward that uh one thing i do remember about when i was dating is mm. that i was continuously misunderstood mm. it was totally misunderstood Oh, really? Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, anyway, whatever. big up to you guys who misunderstood him because if <laughs> you didn't misunderstand him, yeah. I wouldn't have met him. Yeah, it's worked out for you. Big up That's to sure. you guys. Yeah. Anyway. So, so this one is personal. Any horrible experiences that you experienced during your online dating times? Hold on a second. Did we answer the second half of the other question? I don't know. There was two parts to that same question. What did you? How did you know when to when to stop looking and be exclusive. and become exclusive? Yeah. Um. The oh yeah. And become exclusive part. Yeah. 
I don't know. Become exclusive is, I think for me, it's after the first because no when i knew to be exclusive with him i remember is one time um after after we met like after our first date our second date you don't remember this i'm sure the third date mm. you rescheduled okay and you rescheduled because i think something happened you are going to the gym and something happened so how you rescheduled it mm. meant so much to me Okay. You just, just didn't ghost me or anything. Mm. It's just how you, you know, you called me. I remember I was actually fixing my hair. Oh, to go to the date? To go to the date. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, but how you did it, it didn't mm. make me feel like I'm already dressed. I've, you know, I've done my makeup. Mm, okay. I'm doing my hair. What did I do? You did it. I think it's just how you talked on the phone. And oh, okay. The, yeah, and the reason. So you don't really remember the specifics. I don't remember the specifics. But, but how? I so remember. I just said instead of tonight, can we do tomorrow, the next day, whatever? No, no. It was we were meeting for lunch. We were going for a movie. Oh, okay. So yeah. I don't remember the exact words you said, but I remember how it made me feel. Okay. You know, because okay. I remember before meeting you, I was praying to God to give me someone who is consistent in their communication and. Um, that's a very specific request. That's what I prayed for. Okay. Whatever. I've never mentioned it to you, but I did uh, say someone who is consistent. That is a very specific request. Yes, because I was tired of people talking to you today. They don't bother talking to you tomorrow. Yeah. You ask them, you know, you check in on them. They don't say nothing. I was mm. just tired and mm. I was just praying for somebody who is consistent. If you don't want to see me again, just tell me I don't want to see you again. Yeah, okay. You know? just so that i can know what to expect yeah so i remember you tell cancelling that date or rescheduling that date i just remember how i felt and i was like have you actually ever been happy that a date has been cancelled but you're not happy it's because the magic touch apparently yeah. <laughs> it's not that the date yeah. has been cancelled i'm happy yeah but i'm happy just happy and content with the way the date was postponed yes okay and from there i knew how huh, yeah. every other thing that I had that I could keep, you know, like any other thought that I had of if I should, you know, give it my all or maybe 50-50, I just dropped it and said, God, this is what I prayed for. It's right here. I went all in and I decided I'm going to be exclusive and mm. that's how it happened for me. Okay. And that day I deleted the app. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't remember when I deleted the app. I remember, um, um, oh, I see, well, I vaguely remember when I, when I deleted the app. I remember just going, oh, I remember this app. <laughs> and then going, don't need that anymore and got rid of it. Um, was that far? Um, yeah, well, like I, don't, I don't, maybe say a month or six weeks or something around there. Mm -hmm. Um, I just, just went. Oh yeah, this app. I remember this app, and then don't need that anymore. Yeah, something yeah. Uh, along those lines. You know, I don't remember exactly um, what I was thinking, but yeah. I remember just going, "Oh yeah, oh, I remember that, that thing." Yeah, it's time for you to go. Yeah, was, pff, that's irrelevant now. Yeah. Yeah, and also to say that I don't know if you know, but I since that day we met on the twenty sixth of May, twenty eighteen. Mm. We have not spoken. We've spoken each and every day, whether we're mad at each other, oh, okay. even during our dating times before we got married. Yeah. If we're fighting, we have always, always said good morning, good night, kissed, good morning, good night. Like, that's what I prayed for and I make sure that's okay. what I, you know, because that's, it means to, it means a lot to you to, you know, keep checking, checking up on each other, maybe when you're at work. Mm. So, and that's what I prayed for and that means my, that means so much to you so it's just generally just you know flowed mm. yeah so i hope that answers that question anyway so now back to the other question that i'd started on before any horrible experience during our online <coughs> dating um types mm. yeah catfishing for me catfishing yeah okay. so a catfish mm -hmm. for the for the non-anglers out there catfish is very difficult to catch their their mouth is very soft and they'll take the bait off your hook and they won't they won't get the hook in their mouth so 
the allegory goes that a girl who will talk to you and say she's really keen but never go on a date, that's a catfish. Um, she's happy to feel good about, you know, you tell her she's beautiful or you tell her, you know, you're happy to see her or you're happy to talk to her or whatever. She's happy to engage with you except in person. You know, you never actually get the hook in the fish's mouth. Yeah. Um, you'll... Yeah, you just never get that date. You'll yeah. only ever talk to her, talk to her, talk to her. I had that a few times. Yeah. Mm. Because it, it's just it's just disheartening. And uh, and it, w it was good for me in a sense because it meant that I just had to set a boundary. After a week or so, we have to be talking about a date. And after two weeks, if we haven't been on a date, well, pff, she's not serious. Yeah. That must be hard, especially if there's someone you're very keen yeah. To talk to and well, then they King just... to me and you know, because the the anticipation of you've seen photographs, you've had discussions. Yeah. The the natural uh progression is that you would then meet the person and see if everything yeah. that they've talked about, the photographs, the description, see if all of that matches up. Yeah. And then when you just don't even you don't even get to talk to them in person. You just oh well that's just that sucks, you know, like it's horrible. Mm. Yeah. That sounds horrible. Yeah. Two more questions. So, why did we choose to find a partner online? Okay. For me, it's easy. Like, my lifestyle was so busy. Yes. Yeah, you know, I'm going to work. Yeah, it's difficult to meet people because people are standoffish. Another thing I Say hello to someone. And they look, well, what do you what want? Do you, what do you want? That is exactly it. Yeah. yeah. What do you want? Yeah. Also, like, um, if you're meeting people, you know, expecting to meet people in a club or whatever mostly yeah. you'll just meet people who just want flings or yeah. just a club is not a good place but well yeah. by club i mean social settings and then so i wish people can just be grouped we are in this group because we want <laughs> it's you know, so much easier yeah the people who are into serious business the people who are into a fling the people who are looking for a long term the people who are looking for a short term whatever you know or I wish you could just have your description written on your chest <laughs> or address yeah. it on the first date. But it's not like that. And that. Well, that is the advantage of online, online date. dating yeah. is that you have a little description of I'm into, I'm up for, I would like. Yeah, and yeah. You, you, you establish that 100% when you meet the person, you yeah. bring it up again, yeah. you know, because I think it's possible people are just putting there they want a serious relationship. Just and they for, don't. Yeah. They just then, want to attract you to them. Yeah. And then and then when you meet them, they'll tell you, you want a serious relationship, but not now, in future. <laughs> do you understand? So, I do, yeah, just not today. Not today. So <laughs> you're like... the stupidest thing in the world. <laughs> why, why would you even have that on your profile? Oh, no. That's so, so dumb. Anyway, yeah. yeah. So those are some of the things that you need to address on your first initial dating. Yeah. You know, like... You just, say, yeah, making sure that... Um, they match. It matches, yeah. yeah it matches. Whatever they said on the first date matches up with, with what they're talking about on the second date. Is that matching up with what they say on the third date? Yes. Does it match the description? Are they congruent with their frame? There you go. Yeah. So that's also another thing. Anyway, so that's, I think, I think that's the main reason as to why we decided to, yeah. I, I mean, decided to. For myself, I was working 40 hours a week and sometimes working Saturdays as well. So um, working your normal working week and going to the gym every night because um, I was a professional boxer. Um, um, retired from boxing now, but in the gym every night, every week night to get fit enough or to be fit enough to compete, no time to go out Meet dating. People. And then on yeah. the weekends, it's just sleep and recover and get primed up for another hard week because yeah. getting up at five in the morning to go work construction yeah, it's um, tough. and then starting gym at 5 p.m. Mm. after you've just gotten up at 5 a.m. Mm. you know it's taxing and I guess we've answered all the questions oh have we yeah 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 we have yeah because that's that last one there is yeah we did answer when did we exchange numbers yeah. on contact so yeah just thought of another question mm. when did you introduce me to your family Oh, okay. Like, met his family very early on, and also mm. you met my mom and my dad oh. on the same year we met. Yeah, twenty eighteen, because I graduated. Which, yeah, that was just that was just circumstantial. Um, that your parents were over from uh, from Africa, from Kenya, from Kenya, and to see her graduate. So yeah. 
but if i wasn't exclusive with you like you know you that would have been a red flag for you if you didn't get to meet my parents when they came in probably yeah 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 so imagine your parents have traveled all the way from kenya to here for my mm, graduation to australia yeah for and the graduation. they have a boyfriend and then you don't get to meet them that yeah. would be weird I'm sure that, a little bit weird. that would mean mm -mm, yeah. she's not but they met yeah. her they met him the second day they arrived and i told mm. them mom this is my friend i don't really have to say he's my boyfriend i just said he my, he's my friend and the joint really? yeah the dots were joined oh. like why would i be introducing them to a friend who is a male friend oh, okay. oh. and clearly you know around my house very well you know where the bathroom is oh right okay yeah because yeah. i've been to you yeah okay yeah and then once we got engaged we got engaged on I can't remember. uh 2019 uh when did that uh blast in america happen <laughs> oh it was too wasn't it <laughs> yeah yeah i proposed on 9-11 Oops. 9-11 was I had no idea. Yeah. I, I, I didn't pay attention to the calendar. I just... <laughs> you just proposed when you thought you were ready, which is okay. Yeah. And then later I'm like, oh, 9-11 or... Yeah, later on that day we realised and watched the TV and went, oh. 9-11 oh, of 2019. Yeah. And I said yes, of course, with his grandmother's ring. Mm. Mm. And then... From there on, of course, I told my parents I'm engaged. He knew, they knew the guy they met was my mm. boyfriend, so they knew mm. who he was. And mm. then we planned. We flew to Kenya. Yeah, yeah, then we flew to Kenya on December of 2019. Yeah. And here we are. So, mm. yeah, guys, that's our story. That's how we met. And mm. that's how we progressed from online dating to physical dating is that a word i suppose yeah yeah because yeah. i mean online you're not really dating if you're just talking online or if you're talking on the phone or if you're talking that's not dating yeah you have to physically meet someone physically mm. meet yeah meet somebody yeah so um, and five years on mm. you're still here um of course you know relationships are not perfect we have our faults but yeah nothing's perfect but... yeah you have to be willing to work on yourself. I'm working on myself. I know I have my faults. He has mm. his faults too. Mm. He accepts me with my faults and I accept him with his faults as long as he's continuously working on himself and I'm doing the same. And yeah. we're raising our little boy, happy, mm. content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope this was more insightful as you guys requested. I hope we've answered mm. some of the questions that were asked. Yeah, and, and I'm sure there'll be more questions now because yeah. <laughs> so we'll have to make another video. Keep them coming. But, yeah. You're more than happy to... Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, he's more than happy to join me on the next <laughs> video if you guys want any more topics or questions or anything like that. Just let me know in the comment <laughs> section down below below and also i'm gonna leave my instagram up here you guys can contact me there if you want just ask me anything and i'm happy to answer or ask us anything and we are happy to answer so yeah guys i think that's it for this video and if you have enjoyed today's content guys don't forget to subscribe you're smiling just... yeah like share subscribe yeah <laughs> And also turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video, guys. So, yeah. Mm. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. For now, is it? Bye-bye. Mm. Bye-bye.